Tonight, a cat stuck in a tree turns out to be a bomb. It was rather unexpected. And Bingo the monkey, popular among children and adults alike, has passed away at our local zoo. You know you can get fired for that. <laughs> Whatever. Worcester's wacky weather makes a comeback. More later in the hour. These stories and more, Channel 6 has your news right now. I'm Jack Michelson, and our top story tonight, researchers have found an end to pie. Researchers at Caltech and MIT have finally discovered that pi is not an infinitely repeating number. After months and months of intensive calculations, their computers have finally ground to a halt. It's not repeating. There's no pattern in those numbers, but it terminates. And it is most certainly not random. I heard the news this morning. I'm still coming to terms with it. Did you hear that the last digit of pi is seven? It's unbelievable. Shit, son. Pi is fucking infinite. That shit just ain't rational. But it is rational. Clocking in at exactly 8 to the 253 billion and 1 digits, Pi has perplexed scientists and mathematicians for hundreds of years. Now that its secrets have been unlocked, it's expected to send shockwaves throughout the scientific community. This is going to mean big changes for my research. See, I was first going to use only 10 decimal digits of pi, but now it seems worthless not to use all 8 to the 253 billion digits. And 1. And 1, exactly! See, these small, seemingly insignificant changes can have catastrophic consequences on my research. The two responsible for this discovery are expected to make a press release later today. We'll keep you informed on all the details. Hey, so don't you uh, hear that they finally computed pi to a finite number of digits? Yeah, no, I didn't think it was possible myself either, but you know, they did it. They uh, found out there's uh, 8 times 253 million billion and one digits or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, or what is it, like 5 times 70 million digits? I don't, I don't know. It's, it, it's, I'm just joking with you guys. They didn't actually compute pi to a finite number of digits. That, but come on, don't you think they should by now? I mean, the number's been around long enough, but it's just a bunch of long, random crap that doesn't even make sense. And speaking of random crap that doesn't even make sense, there's one time I was fucking your grandma. So you're making this outrageous claim, even though you don't have any evidence? Well, we are researchers from MIT. Oh, why didn't you say so? I'd trust you guys any day. See you tonight, stories. Holy shit, I could totally replace this monkey's picture with George Bush. What are you doing? Looking up some pictures on Google. Oh, and apparently they found a finite end to pie. You've got to be freaking kidding me! Uh, you know, I'm now I'm going to have to find a new routine for my stand-up act. We'll keep you informed on all the details. Oh, shit. Those guys were at the comedy club last week. They're a comedian? Why do you work at a television station? Gotta pay the bills, bro. Gotta pay the bills. Do you still have Google open? I really want to find out who those fools are. Yeah, go ahead. Great. I'm gonna pay a visit to them myself. You're under arrest. Hey, you're that comedian dude. How's it going? <coughs> what was that for? It's one thing to take a comedian's material and claim it as your own, but it's another thing entirely to claim it as truth. But you were just so convincing. I thought the world should know. Well, I am Kilroy's Ryan Keogh. Oh, that explains it. Remember, kids, plagiarism is bad and also enriching. Signing off, this is your friendly neighborhood anchorman. Away!